Hey everyone, in this video today I'm going to show you how to drain out your Truma hot water boiler. This is normally done when you're hibernating your vehicle for winter or when you're fixing a leak such as the video that we uploaded um, last week. You can check that out, um, link will be down in the description below. So I'll show you how to drain that out today for both the scenarios. Normally for winter, the reason why you empty the tank is if you have a full tank and if the tank freezes, what can happen is the boiler can crack. So that's something we want to prevent. So just keep that in mind as well. So that's why we go ahead and normally drain out the tanks, especially if you're in a colder country. If your temperatures drop below zero degrees, that's something to keep in mind as well. It is located underneath this cupboard here. Watch our other video. Link will be down in the description where we've fixed one of the fittings. So the hot water fitting was leaking on this one and we stripped all this cabinetry. That video link is in the description below. But to access this one, just lift up this cupboard and underneath here is your water pump and just behind there is your water heater this is an ultra store 14 liter water heater they're very good units and i've got a video on one of these as well if you don't know how to troubleshoot it um, if you're having problems lighting it so that's also in the description below but anyway coming back to the valve so this is the valve fitted here normally it's fitted close to the hot water heater and it has a yellow handle on the top there so all you have to do is just pull it to release it and there should be a pipe underneath going underneath the whole floor. So it'll go right down to the subfloor underneath. Start by switching off your water pump. You can drain the tap and the shower to release the pressure from the system. That's with the water pump off. Both the hot and cold water sides. So make sure there's nothing in the system. Check all these fittings here, make sure that you don't see any other leaks. Since you're draining the whole system, you might as well fix any other ones that you see. So now in order to drain the system, you pull this up. And that will start draining your system. I'll take you to the outside of the van and show you. As you can see over there, it's draining. You can see it's draining nicely. Once complete, don't forget to close the valve. Make sure it's in the horizontal position as seen here. And you can go ahead and do the repairs or if you're hibernating the vehicle, you can hibernate it now safely. We'll also be doing a review on this 4 birth Kia motorhome. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's quite a nice compact unit. It's one of the early ones that Kia did. Very good, very spacious ones, but stay tuned for that. In the meantime, you can check out my other videos down in the description below where I've reviewed a lot of other campers. This is the control panel if anyone wants to compare it to their one. So that's the Truma boiler. It's a similar panel to the Truma combi boiler, but the combi unit normally has another additional switch control unit here for the cabin air heating system thanks for watching everyone and do check out our other videos link will be down in the description below